Officer Raymond Novi, log entry number six. I can never make amends for Okay. I've devised a method. Welcome to my Amanda gameplay. Honestly, this has been a long time coming. I shouldn't have too many more of them. Um with Amanda's power, essentially, I want to try it out with like a, a single shot weapon. So, uh, Blunderbuss basically is um, the name of the game here. It's sad how even a, a purple meat cleaver is still nowhere near as good as a lumberjack axe. Um, anyways, uh, we are playing, as you can see, on Kandar. And, yeah. I don't normally play as Amanda. Personally, I think she is the worst of the hunters. But, she's still a hunter. And, she's not bad. But, um, but yeah, this has been a long time coming. I've been, uh, I guess wanting to show what she can do with a, uh, with a blunderbuss there. Especially with her power. Um... But yeah, as you can see, uh, we're in the ruins right now, but plenty of looting to be had over here. Um, at the time while I was recording this, I was actually listening to music. So if you're listening to this audio and you're hearing a chest that I so clearly missed, well, that's the reason why. Yeah, look at her fuck shit up with that <laughs> with that lumberjack axe. I guess an issue I run into with hunters is um, I like rushing ahead and I like exploring with them, but a lot of times their uh, since their melee is so crap and I'm not trying to get the demon on us immediately, um, you know, you stick to I stick to melee, but but a lot of times when I'm hunter, it doesn't do very much. It's yeah, it's an uphill battle. Purple lumberjack axe. Now I kind of want that, but at the same time, Henry would would do much better with it. I'm okay with what I got. Max out stamina. Max out range. Not a bad start. And we're all terrified. Um, I'm thinking when people get terrified, uh, that's when the demon can see you, so. So now the demon knows where we are, and this is going to be an uphill battle. And I always run into this problem, actually, especially in the cemetery, where I'm not really indoors, so the character perceives that as um, being exposed, and that's when they start getting scared. Alright, cool. I don't have to go up the Tower of Death. Yeah, there's a purple crate to greet me. That's cool. So, the demon has made their presence known. Um, so at this point, range isn't out of the question here. But yeah, look at that blunderbuss, baby. 900, 1000 something. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking Amanda is actually the most capable person for um, for a blunderbuss. See, with like um, Evil Dead 2 Ash, uh, I got surprised there. With Evil Dead 2 Ash, he's really good with shotguns. Um, and the way I made him was basically... Basically, your last shot is going to do more damage. But for this Amanda, actually, her build, when I created her build, um, I did the same thing where I maxed out on, like, the last shot you have is going to be more um, devastating, more impactful. And the reason I did so was because um, this is a single shot weapon. And it can, bas basically, it's going to give it more, um, boom, you could say. So, Share Bear and the team are kind of getting messed up here, but I figure um, I'll just stick to the mission 
and basically take care of the map pieces. Another piece of the map has been collected. Your group is making that one heavy attack and they're down. It's exponential for a hunter and a melee weapon. Ugh. And the next map piece is uh, Goldtooth Canyon because, of course, it is. Um, I'll be frank, I don't like Goldtooth Canyon. I hate getting a map piece in there. It's, um, with a good demon, they really know how to trap it. Um, yeah, Cheryl is pretty much trapped with this warrior here. So, do what I can to keep her safe, but I'm also exposed myself, so I don't want to stay out of the car for too long. Yeah, that's the problem with this map. It is it is a very survivor sided map, but when you're especially when you're on the south side and you're not really inside of huts, then the fear really starts knocking up. Which is kind of our issue right here is we got a lot of fear, but I got Warrior Ash with me and I got a single shot uh, weapon, so I wouldn't expect to do much damage. <clears throat> Demon is definitely on us. Oh, so um, something I noticed about this game recently, and I don't, I don't know if uh, anyone else is having this issue. I know uh, Skeletusy, uh, my buddy, he plays this game on PC, and he's stated to have the same issues. But um, when I get possessed or when I die, and I'm watching somebody else. Um, what seems to happen a lot is that I'm, um, basically I'm, uh, lagging really hard. So that's what you were seeing right there, and I don't know what that issue was. I hope they kind of fix it. It's not a huge deal because, I mean, I'm not in control at the time, but at the same time, it, it is mildly annoying. <clears throat> Man, check out that blunderbuss, man. It's like a one-shot kill. Speaking of kill, my ammo is nearly out. It's like Cheryl got that shemps. I was actually going for that myself. Only because um, I know it's the Cheryl and she's the healing class, but I like to have at least one shemps on me. Just to, um, basically, in case anything goes wrong, I can at least heal myself. Looks like that wasn't the case here. It's also not the case, as I have a ammunition problem. So yeah, playing with Amanda. Well, she is a hunter. She's not bad at dodging. That's really her. Um, that's really her mainstay is that she can dodge and evade attacks. Again, I was listening to music when this uh, was being recorded, but I just hear now the honking, and I think Cheryl is trying to get the hell out of here. Um, but, you know, I got a loot. Good team, though. What do we got? We got a... We got two warriors, one hunter, and a support. Which is, uh, pretty meta, actually. As much as I hate to say it, because I do like leaders, um, they are kind of optional. If you are playing against a good demon, you know, having, uh, two two warriors, one hunter, and one support. This uh, typically will damage the uh, demon pretty well. Just trying to loot up this house before I uh, follow the buddies. Uh, 
then for my team, I figure I'll just grab ammo while I'm here. Completely loot the place, um, and if they need ammo down the road, you know, oh man, it's got your back. And it looks like they got a head start on me getting to those pages. I'll be over there shortly, but in the meantime, I figure might as well loot. Looks like this bastard has maxed out his um, his traps, because I'm running into nothing but elites. Um, this demon is actually um, kind of missing an opportunity. He keeps going for the hand, um, for the chest, but especially when a hunter is looting, when you do uh, mini ashes, that's actually more um, devastating. Just because it can really take away a lot of ammo, and I I need my ammo. Um, let's see, another thing that's going on is my health is low. But what I'm, I could take it away with a Shems, but I guess my thinking here is that I'm hoping that I can get close at least to Cheryl and let her do the healing. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the fun of recording in post. Anyway, um, trying to catch up to the team and help them out. Fuck it, the demon knows we're here. Um, get in a car and go help the team. This is actually, I think, a rough spot for uh, survivors capturing a page or a dagger or whatever. Just because it's so confined. Um, when you have the other uh, spot in the smithy, then it's, um, you can at least move around and jump and evade, but this one, man. You're on the porch, and there's not much room to really evade there. Oh, I'm just gonna grab that. And blunderbuss in action. Is yeah, so um, she can basically fire it kind of rapidly. Uh, I would say that when she's using her power, she can fire it about four times without really any consequence. Look how I just killed that elite though. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm typically not really a big fan of the blunderbuss. I'm not really a big fan of the uh, crossbow either. Just because they're single shot. But I'm really noticing the difference here. Like just how much damage it's doing. Uh, nice little lag we got going on. <laughs> uh, just shoot into the wildly, uh, wildly laggy boss and pray for the best, I guess. No, we're not doing super bad. We're not doing great, but. You have procured the lost pages of the Necronomicon. The power of the book is nice work, Cheryl. <laughs> Alright, so that's one page down. Um, yeah, for these uh, single shots, when there's a possessed unit or a boss, that's when, um, that's when Amanda's power really shines. Especially, um, especially making the build where the last shot does more damage than, than usual. Um, basically, this, uh, gun that I have, the blunderbuss, is a boss killer. Uh, yeah. I, um, I don't know what's going on with this game, but it's been getting laggy on console lately. I hope that they fix the problem, but... But yeah, I can't really tell what's going on when I'm possessed or when somebody else is driving the car. Basically, when I'm a passenger in this game, one way or the other, um, it just lags like this. Anyway, team's decent at least. Looks like they're all getting out. And I'm going to get out with them. 
Even though the thing that's kind of nice about the blunderbuss is if I get possessed, I'm not too worried about it devastating the team. Only because it's a single shot. And if, um, if I was to get possessed, I would probably count on these guys being able to reach me and just melee me before uh, the demon's able to reload. And because this is solo queue, trying to communicate to them like, hey, let's uh, let's loot up before we go to the next uh, objective. The windmill is actually a really good, um, a really good location for looting. You can usually find ammunition here. Um, I guess it does a little bit more damage, uh, but yeah, you can usually find ammunition here and uh, shems and all that good stuff. I don't worry that Ash was behind me, but yeah, fuck him. He, w he went past it, so. More for Amanda. <laughs> and since I'm a hunter, I figure it's kind of my duty to um, collect ammunition. But yeah, so all the damage I've been doing with this blunderbuss, keep in mind, too, this is a common blunderbuss. So if I was to get a blue, a purple, a legendary blunderbuss, it would be even more devastating than the one I already got. I don't know why I can't find the, the fence there. <clears throat> Demon is with us. Figure we'll just get this started. So yeah, there's, a, there's an example of Amanda just using her power and uh, doing some crowd control with, uh, with a weapon that is not meant for crowd control, really. But yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm not really a fan of the blunderbuss, but with Amanda, it's kind of grown on me like a tumor. Blunderbuss kicks fucking ass. It's just that I guess um, the way that I usually play, especially with like Kelly or Ed, is going for the revolver. And while they're dealing with the main demon, I'm doing a uh, crowd control. That's typically my line of thinking, but it doesn't hurt to um, to try something new, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I also noticed too. Um, when I'm playing solo queue, somebody always seems to jump on Warrior. <laughs> As you can see here, we got a Henry, we got an Army of Darkness Ash. Especially Army of Darkness Ash, but... It's not that I enjoy playing Hunter, I guess. Well, I do, but, like, it gets old after a while. Um, it's not that I, like, pick out Hunter all the time, but it, it's like I feel like I have to. Just because I want, I want that synergy with the team, you know? When you have two warriors, we need a, basically a support, and we need a hunter. Cheryl is doing good, by the way. She's not really using her shemps, which is smart. She's more so using her power, which is, um, which is why she's such a powerful support and such a pain in the ass for the demon to deal with. Alright, we got a boss. Uh, it looks like he's coming for me. Uh, it looks like he's going for Henry. Look at that damage, though. Oh my god. Blunderbuss just annihilated that boss. The living have seized the Kandarian dagger. You are one step closer to defeating the spirits of the book. Okay, so the dark ones are by the castle. And the Kandarian dagger have been collected. Now, prepare yourself to battle the dark ones. But yeah, man. Um, when I start, when I play demon and I'm playing boss, I gotta keep an eye out for these blunder bosses, especially on a hunter, just because. Holy shit, these things are devastating.
Henry's coming to save the day. And get ready for lag. Yeah, no clue what's going on. <laughs> I love how this gun just wipes out an elite like that. I don't even really have to aim for the head, too. It's um, it's kind of like the revolver, but on crack. Try to use my power here. Here's the problem with the mana's power is that she basically... Um, anything happens to you and you're not able to concentrate fully on the power, then... You're just wasting it. It's a skill, though. And it's a skill that I can get better at. Um, basically, figuring out the right time to uh, use it. But, but it's uh, it's not as amazing as, as it sounds on paper, for that reason alone. Even though I have a single-shot blunderbuss, I still want to get rid of my fear. Jesus, leave me alone. <laughs> There we go. Damn, they're doing good against the Dark Ones. I, um, playing solo queue, I actually lucked out with this team. Figure, fuck it, I will drink a Shemps and help them out. Alright, so, uh, Warrior Ash is possessed, but he's kind of running off against the other Warriors, so. I'd rather focus on the Dark Ones and just get those taken care of. Figure I'll drop these for Cheryl. She's uh she's doing good. Yeah, might as well help her out. Hmm. And I kind of wasted my power here because there's just there's just no targets, you know. <clears throat> and it looks like the guys I'm with are um, doing the block the book with a car. Which, I'm glad they're going to nerf that, to be honest. As much as I like playing Survivor, I want to give the demon a chance, and... That just seems unfair. And then there's two warriors, I figure they'll make good use of those amulets. Because, uh, yeah, we're in the end game. I keep missing there. If uh, Evil Ash is going for the book, though, he's kind of late there. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, yeah, no, he's trying to damage us. Gotta love that lag. There's my target. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Aw, oh, man. Didn't get the last kill. Something, by the way, is kind of BS. Uh, when you look at the uh, the scoreboard at the end, it's like boss is killed. Well, it's a little disingenuous because it's really the last shot on a boss. So, hypothetically, what I could do if I wanted to be a jackass and that's all I cared about was um, I would wait for the warriors or all the other team basically to mess with the boss and um, attack them. After that, then I would come in for the last shot and be like, oh yeah, look at me guys, I'm the best. You know? Not completely ideal. Um, but yeah, that was Amanda with the blunderbuss. And, well, as Smash Mouth said, I'm a, I'm a believer now. I believe in the blunderbuss. That thing kicked ass. Don't believe me? See for yourself. I will end this recording, hopefully. Yeah. No uh, my voice. insane damage. You have triumphed over the Kandarian demons. And those elites went down like butter. World. So yeah, got a chance to play Amanda, and uh, I hope you enjoyed, and take care.